Well, it's in the name. Wreckfest is a game about wrecking, but I want to challenge that. After all, without the wreck, it's just fest, and that sounds fantastic. Now, don't get me wrong, I love a good shunt now and again, but as a serious professional sim racing connoisseur, I do my best to avoid the guardrails. It's actually been something that I've been wondering. If you took this game somewhat seriously, raced it as if it was an actual sim in a real car, what would it be like? So let's put my top wreck avoidance on and see what I can do. Ah, uh, look at my car. Yeah, I've got the Gremlin. Not quite a Gremlin, but look at it. It's a very nice car. I've got pretty much no progress in Wreckfest. I have played it before over the years. I've got zero XP and I'm ready to get out there and race like a gentleman. I've really only ever done some, some random online races against some other folks, but I think as a part of the career, you can go through and do some different types of races and things. And so we're gonna jump into the beginner demolition racing series, which is for natural born wreckers. I'm definitely not one of them. So this is a four race series across four different tracks where you're gonna race head to head against some of the AI. And it's the perfect place to see if racing clean can actually get you some decent results. Quite often, if you don't wreck, you actually do quite well in, in games and things like this. With a bonus target like spinning out at least one opponent, I don't think we'll be getting any bonuses. Ah, the Midwest Moto Center. So I did search around to see if anybody's done something like this before. And the way this is gonna work, at least for me, is you do have a damage meter in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen. So our goal throughout these three races is to keep it above 85%. And since at least my driving style will be based somewhat in reality, I have gone on the realistic damage setting. So this means it's quite easy to damage the car and get it out of the race. All right, so in our very immersive cockpit view with no rear view mirror, because why would you need that in Wreckfest? But away we go down towards the first corner and uh, cross my fingers here, something big doesn't happen as it so often does. I'll slip in behind this Corvette, Stingray. That's an interesting car to bring to a race like this. Everybody makes it through though. Whoa, look behind me, I've got a police cruiser coming up. This bug in front. Oh, he's gonna take the El Camino out wide. Oh, and he comes back on. Oh, just avoiding him. No, I got rear-ended slightly. Just avoid the tires, and somehow my damage meter is still at 100%, so I just got nicked there. I don't know how I held on to that. So come around as the Bronco there, the Ford to the right. Slips out wide, slip underneath this Civic. I think I'm in second place now. Oh, as everybody's right behind me. Rear ending is a major issue in Wreckfest. I guess that would be the prime way to get around somebody. But we gotta uh, chase up Re Reflect? Reflect here. See if we can chase him down in the Corvette. I think that's our first lap done already. It's quite a short course. All these courses in Wreckfest are so cool though. See if we can chase down the Corvette, my little gremlin. Get up to fourth gear, over a couple jumps, tires and things everywhere. I have no idea how that didn't hurt the damage meter to get tagged from the rear end like that. Bogging down in fourth gear, get it back down to third here. Look behind me as everybody's screaming around there. Over the jump, see if I can just keep it in third gear just a slight lift to get it through the final corner come across the line on one more lap it was my best lap so far put a little more into it see if i can pass this corvette without running him off the road or myself oh, he's gonna run a bit wide into the second corner up the inside fender to fender it's actually quite good racing the racing in this game is so good it's one of the things, I mean, it feels, I'm driving it very realistically and it still works quite well. I'm sure you can go faster if you thrash the car about, but it behaves like you think it should. Ah, bogged down there though. That might be my run spoiled. Come over the hump here. I think one more corner to go. Really hang the tail out, hit a couple cones, but they don't damage the car. Come across the line. Gonna finish second here in the opening race, but that was such a good race. So I unlocked something new. So that was actually pretty good. I can't believe I got away with without getting damage in that first lap crash, but I'll take what the game gives me. I'm sure there'll be some other things to come. But this time I have a bonus target I can actually hit. Finish in the top three at the Savalak Sandpit. 
And the Gremlin does look a little beat up. It does have a suspicious hole in the windscreen, but I swear none of that damage is from me, and I'm gonna keep it as pristine as when I got it. All right, so here we are mid-pack again. I guess qualifying is not a thing in Wreckfest, but away we go past the Crown Vic there to the left and see what I can do here. I actually don't know the track at all. Uh, I guess practicing is also not a thing as I get tagged a little bit from the right. Ooh, I'll slip up the inside though. I think everybody's not gonna believe me that I have damage on, but just slightly nip to the right. I think getting around this big SUV as we'll come up a hill. It's actually quite terrifying not knowing where to go, but these tracks are pretty wide. The track is not really the main thing to race in Wreckfest, I think. I think it's more the other cars. So we have this little car in front. No idea what that is, but we'll shoot down the hill. Civic out front. I think I beat him pretty easily last time, so we'll see if I can catch up onto some pavement. Oh, there's the Corvettes coming up behind me. Shoot it down into turn one. Short race is here. Oh, as we'll nick the car in front. All right, there it is. One damage on my poor little gremlin here. Come over the top of the hill. I think it's flat out through this right hand, or a lot of these corners. I think we can take flat if we get the right lines. Brakes are super effective in the gremlin. Gremlin, or this little car in front dances side to side. See if I can come up the inside into turn one. Same place I passed on the first lap. Just fender to fender, it's all clean though. Two wheels up in the air. There we go. Kick over some tires. I have no idea where the cars are to the left and to the right. Oh, he's right behind me. On the inside, it gives me a little bit of a shove. Around the outside, I lost a mirror. Somehow that didn't count for damage though. But I've lost my mirror on the left side of the gremlin. Oh, he's gonna beat me out, the little bug, the little beetle. How did he get around me? I have no idea where that car came from, but finishing second once again, uh. All right, two for two for two, I guess. And I did damage the gremlin just a little bit there, but kept it above the limit that I set for myself, losing one of the mirrors. Uh, and I guess I unlocked some more stuff, multiple cuts. We can customize the gremlin now. So after two rounds, I am leading the way over Replect. Consistency is key. It's like old school NASCAR. 160 points, we'll keep an eye on that. I suppose if I do well in this one as well, it could be a sure bet. But we'll get started with the third one, Fire Rock Raceway. I might have done this one before, although I'm not sure. Sure. But round number three, mostly on tarmac this time, interesting. So the Gremlins made it this far, but this is all race, no practice. So we'll jump in for the third race. It looks like we've got the usual suspects up front. Away we go, a little bit delayed on the start, but the Crown Vic there is super delayed. Come down towards the first corner. It's nice and easy, everybody slams on the brakes. Oh, I don't get rear-ended. It's the Bel Air there, sideways, all over the place. We'll come take a left here onto the dirt. I thought this was gonna be a pavement race. A few cars slipping up the outside, but I think I've been clean so far. Rocket down the hill, get the bugs slamming in the wall in front of me. It's all happening here. Tires everywhere, the El Camino sideways. I think I hit a tire, we're all right. Oh, we got a little, what is that? Is that a Fiero? A little Honda of some kind? I don't know what that is, but that's a cool car. All right, come around here. Tracks winding, some curbs. Whoa, it's a very civilized track because I think I got knocked into there. Haven't lost any damage somehow, but definitely took a hit to the right. All right, we'll come through though. Looks like I'm fifth and we're rounding the final corner to complete the first lap. All right, come down to the first corner, just carry some speed. Don't knock into the Bel Air. Basically park it on the apex. Get that little Honda coming up my outside. All right, it's gonna be over before you know it. These races are so quick. Tires everywhere, they don't seem to affect the handling though. It's probably for the best. All right, we'll come through the long sweeper to the left. Got around the Bel Air in front. This is Corvette once again showing who he is and where he's from. Go right up the inside. Might have made slight contact. We're down to 99%. Not too bad. I think the full spotter stands have been knocked over. We'll come through and take the lead here. 
We got everybody right behind me, though, as we'll come into the first corner. I don't know what line to take to not get hit. Just run a bit deep, kind of blow the corner, but there we go. Slide it through. They're all over the walls and things, over the banks and the hills. We're going to run away with it. Run down the hill. Hopefully, we'll run away with it. cars behind but I don't think they're gonna get to me in time so we're gonna come through the final corner and I think I'm finally gonna win one of these things but extend my points lead here being nice and clean while I do it only losing one point of damage this time so dare I say almost easily winning that one but we'll take what we can get when we can get it I'm gonna pick up a whole bunch more sweet parts it looks like and I guess move on to the final round with not a lot left to decide but we'll come into the final race here with a pretty handy lead. 50 points over Reflect. It pays to race clean, but a second, second, and first place is my result so far. It seems like I might win this one, but I think it is the easiest championship to do. But we'll take on the Sandstone Raceway to round out this little experiment and see if I can finish this like a gentleman. We got a beautiful dusk setting now. And away we go. Oh, cross your fingers, I've made it this far. Coming to the first corner. Oh, this car's already spinning out in front of me. We'll take out most of the fence, I'm sure. Oh, and they're gonna lead the way, or leave a way for me to get through. There we go. Thanks to the big SUV. We'll rock it down this hill. I think I'm chasing the El Camino now. Such cool cars that they include with this. I mean, I know they're all slightly fictionalized, but it's the perfect cars for something like this. Something that you'd see at a short track on a Saturday night these days. All right, third gear then or maybe 20 years ago, but you know what I mean. All right, we'll come through. I don't think I've got anybody right on my tail. I think the SUV, there he is, but he took out most of the cars behind me. Second gear, come to the right here. It's a little bit wider, this one. The dirt seems to be a little bit easier to handle as the El Camino is gonna push me off the track. Very unsportsmanlike. We'll be blinded by the sun a little bit as we'll come through the final corner, I think. There we go, up the hill. So up to fourth through the first lap. Three more cars to chase in front. Oh, he's gonna show me what he's made out of. There we go, a little bit of a tail wag in front. Just keeping an eye on the cars behind me. I do wish it had a rear view. It would make it just a little bit easier. All right, slide up the inside. And slide the car sideways through there. Make a nice, clean pass. That's what we wanna see. Try to run away then. I'm sure the El Camino would have a slightly beefier engine than our Gremlin here, but who knows what we've got under the hood. So we've got the Corvette now to sort it out with, and this little car I've been seeing the whole time, i got to figure out what that is. I'm sure somebody will tell me. Kind of reminds me of a Saab. Maybe it's a Saab. Dab of the brakes there as we brake check into the final corner. All right. And we'll come to the line side by side to start the final lap. Hopefully it'll let me up the inside. No, I get taken out. Five points of damage in the final race. The competitors just can't have it clean. All right, look behind me, rejoin safely. That's one of the racing rules. We'll have to make a steward's call on that one. So we'll try to avoid any more chaos here in the final few corners. The final lap of this race is I just tagged the tires on the inside. The tires are more of a showpiece, I think, in Wreckfest. But five points of damage, by far the most I've taken this full championship. It was a pretty good whack there. It might have been from this SUV, I have no idea. Really a truck. Such a big vehicle. I know there's buses and things in this game too, which can definitely do some damage, but we'll head up the hill here, see if I can make an outside, a rare outside pass, slide through a bunch of tires here, onto the final straightaway, not going to do it, oh, and this little, whatever that is, has taken the position away, so I'm going to finish seventh here, and it's actually going to really spice things up, I think, in the little championship. It was the little sob, I just saw it in the replay, I would have got away with the whole thing too, but I guess our version of Garth here has survived mostly unscathed, 
but definitely a few bumps in this final race. But overall, a ton of fun as I unlock a whole bunch more stuff. But even with that, I still win the little championship here. Not bad for a gentleman racer. So this definitely isn't the intended way to play Wreckfest, but it's a lot of fun. This game is so good, and I know I'm preaching to the choir saying that. But what a fun game to play when you just need to relax. And doing it this way, I maybe wasn't 100% successful, but it's a pretty interesting way to spice things up a little bit. And it'd be cool to maybe get like a league or something together of folks that race it this way. Maybe, maybe behave a bit more in it, but it's fun either way. So just something random. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see some more of this, let me know, or maybe I'll come back and do a regular smash em up type race sometime. But that's it for now. Thank you for watching. I'll see y'all again next time.